All right. Well, good God's morning to you all. Good God's morning to you. I pray that you're having a blessed and beautiful morning so far. For, beloved, it is another day, hallelujah, that the Lord has blessed us to see. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be on this side of heaven. Amen. But God's got much work for us to all do. All right. Well, good God's morning to oh, you all. Sorry. Good God. For God has much work for us to do. And so I am delighted to be in the land of the living. Well, let's get our scripture text for this morning. It is going to be coming from Proverbs, that book of wisdom. Proverbs 2, 1 through 5. Proverbs 2, 1 through 5. It says, My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of him. My goodness, that is a mouthful, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Well, looking at this text, beloved, um, we've known uh, the word of God says that any man lack wisdom to let them ask and the Lord will give it to them freely. And so there is no excuse whatsoever. There is no um reason why we should not get and have and be able to receive with clarity whatever it is that we're asking of God because he gives to us freely. The thing that I believe is the problem or the the issue sometimes is that we, when he gives it to us, we're not open to hearing it. Oh, praise God from Zion. We're not open to hearing it because he says, if you accept my words and store up your up commands within you, store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom. If we accept his word, many of us don't want to accept his word. We'll find other things and we'll do other things that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to find the loophole in order to correct why we shouldn't be doing this or why we can do that or why we shouldn't be doing that. Huh? Come on, somebody. I don't know what I'm telling the truth. We'll find other ways. But he is saying, if you would accept my words, and then if you store my commandments inside of you, because understand now, you may not need it for this particular season, but at some point you're going to need to follow the commands of the Lord. If you turn your ear to his wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, if you take these things into consideration, if you put these things in your heart, the Bible says, the word have I hid in my heart that I would not sin against it. If we take all of this stuff that God gives to us and put it to a place where we can use it, because we may not need it right now, but we'll need it later. We'll need it sooner or later. If we can do all these, he said, if you would call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as a silver, if you're looking for it, Lord have mercy, he will give to you. You Do you hear me? If you're looking for it, you got to be looking. The Bible says, if you seek, you shall find. If you knock, the door shall be open, open unto you. If you ask, you shall receive. And so, therefore, we have to be, at, because here it is. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word. Faith without works is dead. Faith is allowing us, we ought to have the work in order to receive that faith. And so that work is, here it is that I'm turning my ear to God, that I'm listening to what he is saying, and I'm allowing my faith to work into action because I'm taking him at his word and I'm applying the word to my situation. I'm applying the word to my circumstance. I'm applying his word. Do, do y'all understand me? <laughs> Praise God from Zion. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, let's pray this morning because, beloved, we do need understanding. We need to take God at his word. And, 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 and when we ask for something, we need to hear it, be able to receive it. Hallelujah. Because some of us, we, we hear it and we don't want to receive it. We, we know what God has said and we don't want to take him at what he said. And I'm talking about the, the raw truth. I'm talking about the the uncovered up the, the 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 real truth of what God is saying because you know in your heart what God has said you know what in your heart what God has has spoken but yet we want to go off our own wisdom 
And beloved, we don't know nothing. <laughs> we don't know nothing. That's why we in school. That's why we forever learning, we're ever growing. Even when we graduate high school, we graduate college, we're forever growing, forever learning. You got me? All right, beloved. When we understand what God is saying, when we take, you know, what he's given to us into consideration, there is an understanding of the fear of the Lord. It is not of a scaredness. It is not of, uh, you know, I'm scared of the Lord. No, there is a reverence that we have for God because we understand who he is, what he is to us, and therefore what he's given to us. And I dare not take for granted what he's given to me. I dare not take for granted how, you know, what may, ways that he's made. I cherish what he has given to me. I, I'm, I'm taking care of it because it's my responsibility to take care of what he has given to me because he says to whom much is given, much is required. There comes a responsibility that we have as people of God when God has given something to us to use it. He didn't want us to go bury the gifts as, as those three 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 men, gentlemen did. One buried it, one took it and, and, and flipped it, and the other one took it and, and, and gained more. He wants us to use what he has given to us. Not be afraid, but to use it. Lord have mercy. Let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you. God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, God, for this opportunity to commune with you. God, we thank you for your word. It tells us, God, that if we just ask of you, it shall be given unto you. And if we take in consideration and we we really understand and apply what you have said, we apply what you have given to us, the commandments, oh God, apply what your words have said to us, God, that we can have what we want and we can have a reverence about what you've said and who you are to us and honor that which you have given to us. Father, help us this day. Lord, some come asking you for more than others. God, I pray I know that you give it to them. You said if you ask, you'd get freely. And so, God, help us to hide the word in our hearts that we won't sin against you. Help us, oh God, to, 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 to be responsible for what you've given unto us, that we would use it and use it to the edification of the body and God to glorify you. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor for the fellowship this morning. Those who are watching now, those who will watch later, and God, those that will watch uh, have already watched. God, we ask you to continue to keep your arms around us, oh God, and let this word marinate inside of us, inside of our spirits, oh God, so that we can accept your word, God, that we can keep your commandments in our hearts, and Lord, we can turn our ear not to the wisdom of man, not to the wisdom of, of science and whatever else, but God, to the ultimate wisdom, and that is your voice. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. God, we praise you for all that you're doing right now. And it's in Jesus' wonderful and magnificent name we do pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Beloved, I pray that you seek the Lord while he may be found, that you get all that you need from him, because whatever you need, God's got it. Whatever you need, God's got it. He's got everything that you need. All you got to do is ask him for it. All you got to do is trust him. When he gives it to you, hallelujah, he'll send you confirmation if you ask for it. That's the key thing, asking. Hallelujah. All right, beloved. God bless you. Y'all have a great day. Good God's morning to all of you. Good morning, uh, Lady Karen. Good morning, uh, Adams. Night, Adams. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm going to wait till I meet you in order to pronounce your first name, okay? Because I don't want to mispronounce it, okay? <laughs> so um, just forgive me for just, you know, doing your last name. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till I meet you to do your first name, okay? So good morning, Ms. Knight Adams. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Soto. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Ray, Minister Ray. God bless you. Good morning to the Macintoshes. God bless you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Muhammad. God bless you. All right, God bless you all. Y'all have a great and beautiful day, and we will see you tomorrow, the same time, same place, for another Good God's Morning moment, okay? Good God's Morning to you. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. Remember, ask of the Lord, and he, he gives freely. So just ask of him, and watch what, what happens when you ask. You shall get it. <laughs> Good God's Morning to you. I love you. Y'all have a blessed day.